Any chance Steve Carell shows up in this spinoff? Gret, and I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. Zayn Malik breaks his silence on fatherhood. Steve Carroll refuses to join the office reboot. And Victoria Justice finally speaks her truth about Dan Schneider. Popular heartthrob and former member of One Direction, Zayn Malik, had his daughter Kai, who is now three years old, with ex-girlfriend Gigi Hadid in 2020. After a year of the little one's birth, the couple parted ways, leaving the fans with shattered hearts. But Zayn never forgets to treat his audience, as he slightly exposes his private life for us to talk about. So how does Zayn truly feel about fatherhood? According to the megastar, fatherhood changed him for the better. It changed his approach to a lot of things in life. Um, I think fathers changed me um, in general. I think it's changed my approach to a lot of things. Taught him patience, and gave more depth to his songwriting. When I was 17, I didn't really have anything to write about. I had only just left school, said the loving father. What was I gonna write a song about at 17? I just came out of school or did my air levels. But I have more to say now. I have this love for this being that I never understood before. I have no fears expressing that as it is such a good feeling that I've been through. And I wanna share that with the world in a good fatherly way. When asked what he thought his parenting style would be like, Zane charmingly commented, I thought I was going to be way stricter than I am. I thought, oh, I won't let them get away with this and that. But actually, I do everything she asked me to do. Whole thing like, I'm not going to let my kids get away with this. They're not going to do that. She asked me to do this. And we'd be like, no. And I do everything she asked me to do whenever she asked. You can see his eyes sparkling just by talking about her. Oh, to have such a loving father. When she's with me, you can't do nothing. I'm a father then from the minute she wakes up until she goes to bed, Zane continued apparently loving discussing his daughter with the public. It comes after last week, Zayn admitted his daughter unlocked a love in him he never had before she was born. Speaking on the Zack Sang show, he admitted his daughter changed his life as he said, I feel like my daughter brought that color back in my life. She just makes me happy. I have so much love in me that I didn't have before she was born. She laughs all day. She wants to do the silliest things and she gains so much excitement from it. She just has a whole fresh perspective on life that had somewhat become gray for me. This conversation definitely made us go aw. We hope their relationship grows even more and Zane finally finds the peace that he deserves. Is Angelina Jolie's daughter becoming a dancer? Speaking of daughters, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's daughter Shiloh, 17 years old, surprises the entire world with her dance moves and choreography. The video of her dancing in sweatpants goes viral as her parents go head to head in court to settle their divorce. Despite the odd timing, her parents seem to be extremely proud of her talents, as Brad Pitt told E.T. It brings a tear to the eye, yeah, adding his daughter is very beautiful. Brings a tear to the eye. Come on! Yeah, very beautiful. I don't know where she got it from. I'm Mr. Two Left Feet here. In another video, in the Millennium Dance Complex, Shiloh is seen wearing a black tracksuit while busting her best moves to the song About Damn Time with her dance group, while the rest of the team watches and cheers for her in the background. Just like this one, another one of her dance videos to the song Vegas has went viral. Further escalating her popularity in the world of dance and entertainment. Of course, such talented and successful parents would make equally skilled children. I mean, look at her go. Steve Carroll refused to be in the office reboot? Steve Carroll, our favorite comedian and celebrity, received a massive popularity increase due to his work in the hit sitcom The Office. This sitcom remains a comfort show for many people, having made emotional attachments to the characters in the storyline. So when The Office reboot was announced, everyone went crazy. Office follow-up gets Peacock series order. Yep. So it's happening. It's a spin-off. But what people did not want was for their beloved Steve to reign on their parade. They wanted their favorite office manager back. But when asked if there was any chance he would make an appearance in the new show, he said, I doubt it. The audience lost all its morale there. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the actor stated, I will be watching, but I will not be showing up. I will be watching, but I will not be showing up. Continuing to say it's just a new thing and there's really no reason for my character to show up in something like that. However, the beloved Michael Scott actor expressed his excitement for the new reboot, claiming that he loved the idea behind it and actually worked with the new lead previously. And I worked with Donald Gleason, who is one of the leads, and I, d I did The Patient with him. He's an excellent actor and a super nice guy, so I think- What a humble guy, don't you think? Sophie Turner dives straight into dating post-divorce. Actress and model Sophie Turner was best known as Joe Jonas's wife, as haters and fans alike 
envied their swoon-worthy relationship. But in an interesting turn of events, the couple decided to part ways only three years after marriage, reportedly due to challenges. Despite having two children together, they decided they were not the right fit for each other, and maybe we now know why. Sophie, being 24 when she married, claims that she married so young, and so did not learn how to date properly, her ex being 30 upon marriage. According to her, her debut into the dating world was strange, but now she's having fun, as she states to the British Vogue, I mean, it's strange when you get married so young. It's like you never really learn how to date, so it's all very new to me. Being on the cover of the June issue of British Vogue, Sophie appears to be smitten with her new man. As she tells the magazine, I am having fun dating, it's very fun. So who is this mysterious man? Well, it's none other than Peregrine Pearson, the heir of Michael Pearson, owner of the Pearson Media Empire. She sure won the lottery. While herself being worth 10 million pounds, her life-earned money pales in comparison to Peregrine's family fortune, which is said to be more than 225 whopping million pounds. The new couple announced their relationship in December via a series of snaps from their ski trip. Someone better check up on Joe! Ryan Reynolds made a movie with his family? In the star-studded New York premiere of the new upcoming movie, If, written and directed by John Krasinski, Ryan Reynolds candidly opened up about his experience in the movie and how his entire family was involved in the making of this children's favorite animated film. According to him, my kids are psyched to see it. Uh, it's a lot of my kids are psyched to see it. Going on to comment how his wife, the gorgeous Blake Lively, had a cameo in the movie, resulting in a little family hangout at the set. She shows up as a kitty, which is like a huge plus for the babysitting aspect. We, we both got to be on set with our kids. In another interview, the Deadpool actor goes on to admit that because of the main cast being filled with dads, his children had a blast on set having playdates with both John Krasinski and Bradley Cooper's kids, having made a special connection and community of children within the set. Kids are very close with uh, with uh, uh, Bradley's uh, daughter and, and John's uh, two kids, and they all play and hang out, and yeah, they live, they worship at the altar of uh, Hayden. The hype for this movie sure is brewing, so don't forget to watch it with your family soon. Another victim speaks out against Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider, television producer and screenwriter for Nickelodeon, has been under a lot of heat and scrutiny once child actors from various Nickelodeon TV shows broke their silence and spoke about abuse on set. Ranging from Lori Beth, Jeanette McCurdy, and even Drake Bell, one by one confessions started rolling as mentions of sexual and physical abuse were reported under the Nickelodeon administration. And now, Victoria Justice, popular for her TV show Victorious, decided to speak her own truth. For Marie Claire's May 2024 issue, Victoria expressed her views on the new documentary series investigating Dan Schneider named Quiet on set, The Dark Side of Kids TV. Something that was very evident in the documentary is that Dan Schneider had a very large ego, and sometimes that ego clouded his better judgment and affected the way he treated people, she said. And there were times I felt like I was being treated unfairly, she added. I would say I'm definitely one of the people on that list, referring to Dan Schneider issuing an apology. It was wrong. It was wrong that I ever put anybody in that position. It was the wrong thing to do. I'd never do it today. I'm embarrassed that I did it then. I apologize to anybody that I- The dark side of the entertainment industry sends shivers down one's spine. We sure hope all child actors are given the closure they deserve. There you have it, people. Make sure to subscribe and check other videos on our channel if you like this video.